Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Laura. Sorry, I did not film my Saturday Shelfie tour on my Friday reads. I am in the middle of planning a bar mitzvah. So we have tutoring classes, we have services, it's a high holidays this weekend. I just did not have time to film and now my husband is in the room. I can't even film uh, to do uh, later uh, because he's sleeping and that's where my room is, where all my books are with the crates. So anyway, I do have a video for you for today because yesterday, I took my girls, Justin didn't want to go, I took my girls to Barnes & Noble and they had a bee fest yesterday, which is a teen festival, and we went and we sat there for two hours in a um, kind of games and scavenger hunt type games, and we won a whole bunch of swag and we won four advanced readers copies so i'm going to share with you what i what we came home with with the my, my girls went there at hebrew school now so I, they can't be in the video i'm sorry um so anyway so this is the first thing i got is a bookmark about bee fest um and they do it once a year and um they just had yesterday we just got in there at the correct time i didn't even know what time to go and we ate lunch and then we went right in and we were able to do the scavenger hunt and i was even able to participate as well so it was a lot of fun so so that's the first thing i got a bookmark i got a sh shrag of um swag a postcard of this uh by marissa meyer this is her new book that's coming out renegades is coming out in 11 7 17 uh, by marissa meyer so that's pretty cool uh we got a sticker um this is the mask of shadows uh slay all day this is a sticker uh we got uh, we got a couple of like first chapter books they're like freebies thing this was no good deed um it's only like the first chapter so it's like a spoiler type thing and then on the back it says the kill the boy band which we already own that book my my daughter actually read it and she said it was good so that's that one um we got another one it says read it first uh ever life so it's only like the first chapter really really short so i don't know i don't even know what to do with these things um, and I probably throw them out, but we'll, we'll see. Um, this is a poster that goes with one of my books. I'm not going to show you that yet. Um, I got an Epic, Epic Reads. I actually met Epic Reads, um, last year at the Barnes and Noble in Princeton. Um, yeah, so this is just a book my kids picked up because we met them and they wanted to cut this out and put it in their journal. Uh, yeah, and this is... This is the books coming out really soon. Um, this is um, Replica, which I read already, and um, Ringer is coming out this month. So I already pre-ordered it. It's coming up from Lauren Oliver. Um, I really enjoyed it, and yeah, so that's just different things, and this is like just a magazine type thing. Um, then my girls um, wanted this for their room. They got a big poster of Everything Everything. Um, we saw the movie, and both girls got the poster. So, yeah, so they put that on their wall. And then there's another movie coming out, Wrinkle in Time. I got the poster board to put in my office. So I actually have one. If you could see right behind me is mine. I just, I didn't stick it on my wall because I had my wall painted freshly and I don't want to put holes in my wall. Um, so I have it sitting on my desk there. Um, this is one of my girls' posters. So this is pretty cool. Okay, so on to the books. Let's see I'm trying to get everything over here um, on to the books um, I want to do the one with the poster first okay so the first one I got the poster um, this is a poster of one of the books and I thought it was pretty cool um, and we won the contest um, and we won this one it's called Zenith uh, by Sarah Alsberg and Lindsay Cummings. Now, this is a proof. This is an advanced, uncorrected proof, not for sale, uh, that we won in the contest. I have no idea what about. I think it's about space because the because of the post is all about space. Uh, yeah. 
Um, so let me put my glasses on and read a little bit of the blurb behind on the back. Okay. Um, let's see. Anything good on the back that I could just quickly read? Oh, it says a fun, a full of action, fantastical intrigue, and steamy star-crossed romance. So, yeah, I guess this is a, a romance, science fiction romance. So, yeah, I don't want to read that much So because it spoils the book for me. So that's what this one's about. I love the cover, and it's really cool. And by the way, <laughs> this is the color me and Victoria picked for our um, dresses for the bar mitzvah. So uh, me and Victoria are wearing this electric blue, and uh, Justin's wearing black suit. Um, and Naomi is wearing black on the top and her bottom is a light blue. So we went in the blue theme. Our theme is the galaxy theme. So this really goes <laughs> with our theme, which is really interesting. So that's that. So I still have to get shoes, but Victoria got these amazing, beautiful blue shoe, uh, black shoes to go with her dress. So, okay. So the other three books that I got, I got Into the Dim by janet b taylor and it says her future is a thousand years in the past and the interesting thing about this book is on the very top it's it is quoted by diana gabaldine who wrote outlander and it says instantly engaging constantly sus suspenseful um oh yeah uh, ultimately poignant and satisfying. Sorry, I can't really see it because <laughs> I don't have my glasses on. Uh, so that's what this one is about. Pretty interesting. And it looks like there is going to be a sequel to this one. It says, don't miss the sequel, which is Sparks of Light. And this one, um, it doesn't say when it comes out. Um, this one doesn't say. It might be out now, but it doesn't say on this book, but the first book, The Zenith, does this one say it? Oh, January 16, 2018, this one comes out. It actually says it right on the top, so that's pretty interesting. This one doesn't have a date on it, so, yeah, so I don't know when. I don't know if it's released now or what, but we got that one. Okay, all these bookmarks keep falling out. These are the bookmarks that I got. Uh, yeah, must read teen books of 2017. Uh, yeah, keep falling out of the book. <laughs> so that's that one. Okay, so my daughter picked this really amazing one. It's called Reign of the Fallen. And it is by Sarah Glean Marsh. Uh, now, I haven't heard of any of these authors that I got, except for the last one. Uh, so anyway, I don't know what this one's about. And this one is on sale January 18th. Uh, yeah, so we got this one. So let's see what it says on the back. It says, a thrilling masterpiece um, captivates the hearts of readers from the very first page. A dazzling blend of magic and mystery. A lush uh, world full of twists and turns with refreshing heroine at its heart. Hits all the emotions from love and friendship to loss and betrayal. I couldn't get enough. Um, a dark and in intense fantasy with brilliant writing and genuine characters. Uh, this modern fantasy tale wh where love is love will have you in, in, ar in armored the whole way through. So, yeah. Seems pretty interesting. My daughter wanted this one. So, yeah. So, that's that. And the last book that we got is called Top Ten... Uh, by Kate Katugla, Kat, Katugno, sorry if I butchered her name. Anyway, she wrote 99 Days, and I've heard of her before. I haven't read 99 Days, but this is an advanced reader's copy as well. And this book comes out 1017, so very soon. And the back says, top 10 things to know about top 10. 10, the, the next pitch perfect romance from Kat, Kate, Katie Catogno. Number nine, a novel that deals with social anxiety from an author who has struggled with it. Number eight, 
99 Days was optioned for a TV series by Lilla Feinberg. Number seven, an LGBTQIA plus story with a bisexual girl protagonist. Six, tackles tough issues like con con concussions and class differences. Five, Katie is the author of the popular books, How to Love, 99 Days, and Fireworks. Four, a compelling non-linear narrative structure that keeps you on the edge of your seat. Number three, a powerful author who is funny, charming, and real on social media. Number two, perfect for fans of Sarah Dessen, Jenny Han, and Morgan Matson. I love Jenny Han. I love Morgan Matson. I don't really like Sarah Dessen, but we'll see if I like this one or not. Uh, number one, can a boy and a girl really be best friends and not more? So yeah, so that's what this one's about. Pretty interesting. Um, I like to read this one and see what, what it's all about. So those are the four books that we got yesterday. We won them in a contest. There was a contest of all teen books. It was a teen contest. You had to um, list all all series uh, that are teen related. You had to list uh, trilogies that were teen related. And me and my girls, we they know my bookshelf and everything, and we were able to win most of the contests. I mean, everybody won something, even the other people that were there, uh, but we did win four books, which is pretty cool. So anyway, thank you for watching, and um, I will try to get videos up. Um, hopefully, I will pre-record them and, and uh, schedule them to go up, but I'm not promising you anything because... Uh, the bar mitzvah is taking up a lot of my time so yeah i have a month to plan it now the invitations went out and yeah so i am very busy so thank you for watching and i will see you in another video bye